Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for being here today. We've got a white and a black pleated swipe for you today. So my lovely friend Kim from Kim's Creations and I got together and we decided upon this challenge, a pleated swipe. What is that you might ask? <laughs> so for the pillow today, I've got my trusty Shelley Art recipe. And I've got the UK version so I've got that express coat as the pillow. This is my cell activator, the Amsterdam White and the Australian Flow Troll. And I've got a metallic copper by Pebio, beautiful color. And I've got an iridescent blue green by Pebio. The DYNA um, is, shows it's a pigment, so it makes it very iridescent and shiny. And here's my medium that goes with it, the Josonia and the gloss base C. Okay, now I just showed you quickly the tri art. That was a special extra cell activator in this first one today. So I'm just showing the consistency of the colors, and I'm also going to just show you the consistency of the tri art that I've mixed up, and that's just the cell activator. Um, and I'm going to use that in the swipe along with my Amsterdam as well. That's titanium white there. So I'm just laying down the base pillow and that's mixed up that lovely express Valspar with a bit of water. That's literally all I do for the base pillow and making sure it's a nice consistency. The base pillow is something that the paints on top can just move really smoothly across. So I'm laying down my lovely Pebio blue green and then I've got the copper there. These are two of my favorite colors and it's just so lovely just mixing a metallic and an iridescent color. And then we've got this beautiful cell activator on top. So I'm double whamming it today with cell activator. I really wanted to see some nice cells. So with a cell activator, there's nothing to say that you have to do anything particular with it. You can play with it and I've layered it this time. So I put the cell activator, which is the tri art with Australia Flow Troll in the middle. And I've layered it again with the copper metallic and the iridescent blue green. So now I'm gonna get my swipe. This is an exciting moment. This is the tri art I'm putting on first. Just laying it down on the palette knife and then layering that with my white cell activator. So I've got two cell activators on this one today. And then I'm just literally pleating the swipe. So it's a normal swipe, but you're doing it as if you're icing a cake. It's so much fun. If you give it a go, let me know, won't you? Let us know. Now I've no idea what Kim's doing because we're doing our own interpretation of what a pleated swipe is. So I've got the base pillow now. And I'm just adding a little bit more around the corners to make the paint nice and easy as I spin it out. So I'm ready to go, I think, and I can see there's gonna be a nice bit of negative space. I do like negative space in my paintings. Um, not always, but I'm seeing a web, a golden web. What do you see today? So I'm giving it a nice spin out. And just enjoy the process now as I spin it out and then you'll see me come back shortly as we have the end result and the dried result. And then I'm going to take you into the next one, which is a black base. Exciting.
So I'm popping some of the white bubbles here because in the base paint I mixed it up and I didn't let it sit. I do get quite excited with my painting sometimes and I should really let it sit. It doesn't always have bubbles but sometimes I find with the pillow paint it does rise to the surface um, depending on the thickness of the paint too. So a couple of bubbles there just to pop and then it'd be already, aren't they lovely colours together? And you can see that the gold has gone off on its own a bit on the side. I really do see it as a bit of a web. This is a really simple technique and you can use the palette knife however you like on the canvas in that backwards and forwards motion. I'm so excited to see what Kim's created today. I'm always excited to see what she's done. So can you see the close up now and how the white has mixed with all those colours and there's the dried result. Always dries a bit darker. So now onto the black base. You saw the Amsterdam black there, Oxide. For this painting, the base pillow is the Amsterdam black, Jossonia and the base C. And that's the same for the pillow and for the colours. So we're laying down the pillow now. And the difference between this one and the other one is we use the trade pillow paint with water and we use Amsterdam with pouring medium for the base. So it's got a bit of something extra and it does come out differently. But of course you always get a different effect when you have a black base or a white one. Just laying down that beautiful Pebio copper and I'm putting a little bit more on and I'm going more towards the center of the canvas on this one and I'm using a tiny bit of the Triart cell activator in the painting like I did with the other one, but in a slightly different way. One of the things I just love about acrylic pouring is you can just use the same paints in a similar way, a slight different way, and it has a completely different outcome. I hope you find the joy in acrylic pouring just like I do. I think my friend Kathy's now got the bug after coming in and trying out her first painting with me and I know that so many people when they try it say give it a go and let me know what you feel and what you create. I love seeing what people create. So we're laying down now the lovely iridescent blue green by Pebio. This is one of my all-time favourite colours. It's such a strong colour and it never lets you down. It's one of those blues that when you mix with a tiny bit of the the copper and the gold I'm now layering it here. That iridescence comes through so nicely. The tri art is an iridescent paint too. With the metallic and iridescent colours interacting, you've got a lot of opportunity here to create gorgeous cells. Amsterdam White and Aussie Flow Trial is a cell activator in this one. Here we go, here's the exciting part. The palette knife is creating the swipe backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and this time I'm keeping it more central in the canvas, just going off the edge a bit for a, just a different look. So I'm now, can't resist showing you again, and then I'm going to put down the pillow paint around my creation there so I can spin it off and again it's just helping the movement of the paint. I don't always use Amsterdam as a base pillow because it's an expensive professional paint. Um, I, all of my, my paints that I use are professional paints, but I like to keep the more expensive ones or these particular ones purely for cell activator ones and for smaller canvases. So here's the end result. Do you like it? It was one of those luscious paintings that I think I'm going to have to keep. It was popping with bubbles and colour and I just absolutely love this one. It just gives me absolute joy, just so much movement and flow in it. And I don't quite know what to make of it or what to call it, but it just gives me joy. It feels like I'm riding a wave on this one, like I'm surfing through something. So I just want to say to everybody here today, thank you so much for being here on this swiping journey for this pleated swipe. I just love swipes and I love how sow activators interact with different paints. So I'd love to hear 
what you've been creating, what you've been up to. You see that little close up there and what the white's done to it, highlighting it. It almost feels like a waterfall at the end when you put it from that perspective. So let's hop over and see what dear Kim from Kim's Creations has done today. I can't wait to see what she's created. So thank you for being here. I hope you're having a good day and I hope to see you again soon. Please do subscribe if you like what you see and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Take care now. Bye.